that's I mean if Circuit you want to make your life interesting I mean start uh, start doing things you're not comfortable with and do it without preparing so that's, I mean, uh, yeah even if I mean the trip was a lot of different things at different times it was it went from like you know physically challenging to tired of each other uh, new areas and there was like, a lot of different points and a lot of them weren't fun but on any given day it was a shit ton more interesting than a day in the office exciting than I anticipated. <laughs> you need to get on the back like you're having like a great time. <laughs> She'll never forget you dude. Not sure why people go to Seattle. I mean, I know why people go to Seattle. They go because they're 22 and they want to be a bartender and they want to bang everything that moves. And that is awesome. Like, if that's your plan, go to Seattle because it will absolutely happen. Just ask Zach, this guy right here, who incidentally is a never nude. When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> Get, you know, what everyone in Seattle gets. I've got my Tolstoy in my satchel. In my Westphalia. <laughs> the only thing good about Seattle is this little fucking scooter that we couldn't get working despite spending hours and hours tearing it apart and not getting it to work. I don't know, it was like the, the ignition unit was bad. I can't just fix solid state electronics. We really thought that there would be nothing quite as spectacular as riding around Seattle on this moped. Unfortunately, we never got it working. So, yet another anticlimactic moment for Adventure Prone. George had to do some much needed maintenance on his bike, mainly because his chain was on the verge of being tossed off of his sprocket. So he overnighted some sprockets and a chain um, up to Seattle. The, play the Playboy was there when we got there. Sounds like everyone's already getting to some shenanigans. <laughs> This happens a lot when you have friends who like motorcycles but can't ride motorcycles. They just want to just want to rev its engine. They just want to rev it up, you know? They just want to wow wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that chain go. That's so bad. Good Christ. That's not supposed to be in the system like that. What America needs is more pictures of us bending over wheels in the ground. I will America know that uh, I could not could not get these off. Do a brain thing. This is a pure brawn thing. I mean, I guess. Is it, do you want to say that you won by brain or brawn? What's more important to you? Brawn. Right now, brawn. Well, it was brain. <laughs> well, then, meanwhile, over here, we still can't get this chain off. So. It's a chain, like it wants to leave your bike, but it doesn't want to leave your bike. <laughs> it's only leaving if it can take us out together. God damn! Look at that guy. Look at his fucking arms. That guy's ripped. Shit. So we have our chain back on. So we put the master link on, which is this guy right you sort here. Of, you make sure you face it in this direction. Huh? See. Um, just, just the chain comes in complete, and there's a couple different ways to do it. The fastest way is this Bam. one. We have been talking about painting some trash on our bikes for some time, and Zach, an aspiring artist, um, seemed thrilled at the prospect of doing that. So he made some stencils for us. Um, I wanted a rising sun, which he kindly uh, carved out for me. And George didn't give him any specific instructions, so he made this. And something that looks like Zoidberg. What, uh, what could this mean? If you don't, get, like, if you don't get it, you probably shouldn't. Something about slaying. My really proud FedEx customer. Uh, how refrigerators look in Seattle. Look. That's how they should look. If that's not what your fucking Sweet. refrigerator looks like, and you live in Seattle, then you failed. Mountain Fresh. Oh. Rainier, so hipster, they only drink it in Seattle. Hey, this, is, this is oh. worth showing. You know how normal people have pets? <laughs> uh, they have a Thunderdome of house spiders. The big one wins most of these battles. So that's disgusting, but we go out in the morning and find more spiders and try to put in so many that they battle. What you doing, buddy? Going out of the town of Seattle? What are you doing? Just, you know, gonna be 
putting on some sweet new temporary tattoos. I mean, tattoos. I don't know if you've heard, but it's like hipster capital, so... <laughs> temporary tattoos are sort of God's gift to people who can't make the commitment to actually having tattoos. You get all you get all of the, the benefits of having a tattoo without any any of the pain or misery or joblessness. Bam. This is the horse. Unicorns for life. <laughs> Unicorns are not. Over here we... Somehow. First world problem. Oh, my... <laughs> Pouring our drinking water down the drain so we can put on temporary tattoos. Notice the faucet just keeps on running. Is that stupid? Yeah, that's nice. I named him Michael. Michael. <laughs> so, finally... Saw somebody get hit by a bike in Seattle. Don't move them. They look very concerned. It's terrible. Hey, wave to the camera, guys. Blow traffic. Yeah, it does not go. look like he's very happy right now. No, he's bleeding in the face. Yeah. Some paper towels. This will help with this. Wow, that poor whoever hit them, poor person. Wow, that whoever hit them? Yeah, their insurance is gonna skyrocket. Good, fuck them. <laughs> Look at us, we're fucking awesome. We're on motorcycles. We're in Seattle, we're fucking sweet. We're so fucking cool. Look at us go. Oh, we bought a blow up doll. Oh, we're so fucking edgy. Shit. <laughs>